Hi friends. Today's skills, we're gonna work on our name book. Here's mine, my name book, Miss Jackie. You should have one in your packet that has your name in it. You're gonna need some supplies to work on these. I have a pencil. I have some letter stickers and you should have those in your packet as well. We sent those with you. I have crayons. I'm gonna use watercolor paints. If you don't have watercolor paints or any kind of paint, you don't have to use that. And I grabbed some markers too, just to make it a little more fun. So I'm gonna go have a seat and you'll be able to watch me work on mine with my camera. So here is my name book. It says Miss Jackie. And I'm gonna tell you the letters in my name, capital M, because it's the first letter of my name, S, then capital J, A, C, K, I, E. Now this book has several pages in it, but you don't have to do them all today. So we're gonna start with the front page. And what I'm gonna do for the front page is I'm gonna color in the bubble letters. So I'm gonna take my crayon and using very nice kindergarten coloring, keeping it in the lines. I'm gonna color inside the M. Then the S. And I'm gonna get another color. J. And I'm gonna do this for every color. Then I'm also gonna color the pencils down at the bottom. Feel free to use any color that you would like. You can even make your name look like a rainbow with every letter being a different color. Let's take a look at the next page. My name is Miss Jackie. I have blank letters in my name. So I'm gonna start off, when you see lines, that are like this, like connect the dot lines, those are for tracing. So I'm gonna use my pencil because if I make a mistake, I can erase. And I'm gonna trace my name. Now, when I'm tracing, I like to think of it like my pencil is a train and the dotted lines are the train tracks. I wanna keep my train right on top of the train tracks. Next, it says, I have blank letters in my name. That means I need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on this line, I'm gonna write an eight. If you don't know how to write the number that you need, ask a parent or another grown up to help you. I have eight letters in my name. The next page is I can trace my name. So again, I'm gonna use my pencil like a train and follow the train tracks to write my name. Notice how I'm going nice and slow. I don't wanna rush because I want it to be my nicest, neatest handwriting. And I'm gonna do that for both lines. The next page says, I can write my name. So on the top, just like the last page, I'm going to trace. On the bottom, I'm gonna write it on my own. Doing my very, very best. I want to use nice, neat handwriting. Names are very important. So we want them to look very nice. Miss Jackie. On the next page, it says I can write my name again, but it has it in boxes. If the box is tall, that means the letter is gonna be tall when you write it. If the box is shorter, it means the letter is gonna be short when you write it. So the top one I'm tracing, M, 
S, capital J is tall, A is short, C is short, K is tall. I is a short letter, but that dot at the top makes it taller. E is short. I'm gonna come to the bottom and I'm gonna do it on my own now. Capital M is tall, lowercase s is short. Capital J is tall, lowercase a is short. C is short, K is tall. I is tall because of that dot. E is short. Miss Jackie. The next page says, I can build my name. And if you look really closely, it's made with Legos. So if I were at home, I would get my Legos and line them up to make my name. If you have Legos at home, you can do this with your name. Be sure to send me a picture if you're able to do that. The next page says, I can build my name with stickers. So I'm gonna use my sticker page. You all have these. So, I need M, S, and then I'm going to have a space, J, A, C, I E Miss Jackie And on my last page it says I can paint my name If you don't have paints remember you can use crayons or you can use markers Those were each on your school supplies list so hopefully you have those I am going to use watercolors to paint. And I'm keeping it inside the lines. Now, if you do decide to paint your name, you need to let it sit open on a table at your house until this page dries so that you don't get paint on your other pages. And I'll finish with my paint, coloring in the rest of my letters. This name book, you have two days to work on it. So you don't have to do every page today. So do a few pages today, then finish the rest tomorrow.